Hey guys, today is Friday, February 2nd, and we are headed out for our first real grocery shopping trip uh, in the last couple of weeks. We have been sick, and we are still not 100%, but we are getting close and finally starting to kick this stuff. Talia is still dealing with some residual ear infection, and I'm still dealing with some residual sinus infection, and then there's this lingering cough that I hear doesn't go away for a long time that we all are kind of dealing with. So there's that, but we are ready to get back to normal life. And the last couple of weeks, I've just been running to the store whenever I was well enough and whenever we needed something and um, haven't done a regular weekly grocery shopping trip for a while. But um, we are ready to do it now and we are really um, uh, wiped out of a lot of food. We um, need to do a big stock up. So I'm going to do a big stock up at Costco and we're just going to go everywhere that we need to go until we have everything that we need. We're going to need to go to the Asian market. We're going to need to go to Winco. Um, and then we'll see. I'm just going to keep shopping until I have everything that I need. I'm not sticking to my $120 a week budget this week uh, just because I need to do the big stock up when I have a month that is four shopping weeks, like four Mondays. I usually go shopping on Mondays. Um, so when there's four of those in the month, then I have a $120 buffer for the month. And so I, um, for this week, I'm going to spend, I'm going to try to spend up to 240. So my 120 for the week plus my 120 buffer and I'll see. But like I said, I'm just going to be shopping until I get everything that I need. And then I will go from there for the rest of the month. I did want to mention that I placed a Zycon Fresh order. They are having a special right now for um, their boneless, skinless chicken breast, the 40 pound box you can get um, for $1.47 a pound. I think it's normally about $1.89 a pound. So a few cents off and um, you just have to use the promo code 147 special uh, when you check out and you'll get that discount and that discounts good only until February 5th. So if you're able to get it um, in the next few days, you could still get that deal. And then I had some referral credits from you guys, you guys that have used my referral uh, link and ordered through Zycon Fresh. I get a little bit from there. So I was able to get the um, 40 pound box of chicken breasts for $30 and 59 cents, which was a really great deal. So thank you guys that have used my referral code. You can see it helps us out directly on our grocery budget. So that I will show you also um, when I get to the end and show you my budget tracker and how that's already in there. Uh, $30 uh, is already taken out of our $600 a month budget. And I think that's all I needed to let you know before we get started. We are headed out and Costco's not quite open yet. I think we're gonna head to Winco first and um, then see what time it is at that point and head to Costco just as soon as they open. I always like to get there right when they open because uh, we can get in and out the quickest that way. So we are ready to go. Are you girls ready? Mm -hmm. You want to go shopping? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you ready to get some groceries? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. And Kylie did not and you want to sit in the cart? I want to walk in Costco. Oh, um, yeah, since it's just the three of us today, you can probably walk. A lot of times I have her sit in the cart in the to keep, cart. you know, the insanity down. In the but since cart. it's just the three of us, yeah, you can sit in the big cart. Then maybe you can have a turn walking this time since you're such a big kid. <laughs>
Here is everything from Winco. I got a couple things. I, I got several things for recipes that I'm going to be doing soon. I'm going to do a Instant Pot Corn Dog Bite recipe with the silicone molds that I showed um, in a couple of recent videos. But I wanted to try little corn dog bites, so I got some cornmeal and some buttermilk to make the cornbread batter. I got some semi-sweet chocolate chips because I'm going to do lava cakes in the Instant Pot that are all the rage right now that looked really delicious. I thought they'd be a fun uh, recipe to try for Valentine's Day. And then I got wild rice. Now this was the most expensive thing that I got. Wild rice is pretty expensive by the pound, but we love wild rice soup and you only need um, probably less than a cup of the rice for a big pot of soup. So it doesn't turn out to be too terribly expensive, but I bought a bunch because I'm going to cook it all and I'm going to portion it out and freeze it so it's ready to throw into uh, soups to make wild rice soup for the next few months. So that was $21 in and of itself. So that was like almost half of what I spent at Winco. I got a giant bag of sunflower seeds because I'm going to make a giant batch of waffle mix and we use sunflower seeds for that. And then I grabbed a few um, of the Tillamook yogurts. These are nice to have when the kids need to pack a lunch. So I just grabbed a few of those because they had a good price there at Winco. And everything I got at Winco cost $45.20. What do you think of that? Uh, good. Good. Yeah. We got everything we needed at Winco and now we are headed over to Costco. They should be opening right when we get there. my Costco haul. I got cucumbers, peppers, golden potatoes. The uh, These are Polish sausages, hot dog-ish things for the corn dogs that I told you about. I got a pack of Kerrygold butter, four packs of bananas, avocado oil, organic rainforest blend coffee that I always get. That's my favorite. Organic maple syrup, some organic strawberry spread, organic peanut butter, and oh, I already showed you that. Um, uh, organic unbleached flour, Himalayan pink salt, applesauce, and uh, five packs of bread. I'm gonna be doing a huge batch of my uh, freezer peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, uh, so that's why I got all the peanut butter and jam and all the bread. And the total that I spent at Costco was $162.38. And I just realized I missed the eggs. I got two five dozen packs of eggs. I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, food prep, including German pancakes, a huge batch of German pancakes, which uses four dozen eggs in and of itself. So I went ahead and got two of the five dozen packs of eggs. Headed into the Asian market now. Just really need two things here. I haven't had my sweet potato flour the last couple times I've been in. So we'll see if they have it this time, I'm hoping. And then we need some coconut milk.
last stop was the Asian market and I just got a couple of things there. They finally had my sweet potato flour in stock. I was so happy about that. So I grabbed 12 of those to stock up on. I'm gonna be doing a big batch of the waffle mix like I told you about and I use sweet potato flour for that. So I'm all stocked up with that and then I got four of our favorite coconut milk. And the total I spent there at the Fubon market was $38.64. So here's my grocery budget tracker for February. Got the first week in here. There's my Zycon fresh order, and we will not pick that order up until mid-March. So you do have to place the order a little bit in advance, but it'll be nice to have in March. Then at Winco, we spent $45.20. At Costco, $162.38. And at the Fubon market, $38. 64. So for week one, I spent a total of 276.81, and that leaves me with 323.19 for the rest of the month. That means a little over $100 a week for the next three weeks, which should be plenty to get us through since I did such a big stock up today. Um, we're really stocked up and should have no problem making it through the rest of the month. So that's it for our grocery shopping this week. I hope you guys are doing great, and I will be back again soon.